What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Logistical Styles coming at you with another video and today we are doing a deep dive into iCloud syncing with Algorithm DJ Pro. A lot of people don't really understand how this works so I figured this would be a good video to jump into. Hopefully nothing too long but hopefully you also will walk away with some understanding with, of how this works. First of all, what is iCloud syncing with DJ Pro or just really anything in general? Well, iCloud syncing is a feature in the Apple uh, ecosystem which allows you to sync data across multiple devices. Sometimes you're syncing music, you can turn that on as a feature, or you can have certain apps that sync amongst themselves across different devices. You have to go into each device and turn it on but once you have it turned on, certain apps will share different data across these devices as long as they're signed into the same Apple iCloud account. If you go into your settings on, let's say your iPad, let's go into settings, then we'll go into the top where it has your name and it says iCloud. Click on that. Then, if you go down a little further, you can see, let's see, let's go to iCloud. Click on iCloud, and then you can see all the apps that save to iCloud. So let's go here, let's see all, and you'll see that the basic stuff is synced, like photos, your iCloud Drive, keychain, passwords, messages, etc. But then you can see all the apps that are installed and a lot of them do sync across the iCloud. In particular, we're gonna be looking at DJ. DJ is listed here, it's turned on. So we can go back to the DJ app. And if we go into settings down here, we can go to advanced. And we can confirm if you scroll down that iCloud syncing is active. And the last time it synced was 1012, and actually it's 1012 now. So I just turned it on, so it did a quick sync. Now, you do the same thing on all devices. I've got three devices here I've got my MacBook Pro, which is my main device. It has my library that I manage through iTunes or the music app as it's now called and then i have an iphone 16 pro max which has the same exact library from the macbook pro synced up on this and the same thing goes for my ipad pro both devices all three devices have the same music library and i sync the iphone and the ipad up using a cable and in my iTunes, if we switch over here, in my iTunes, I have it set to sync the entire library. So when my entire library is synced up, all I have to do is plug a cable in and any changes I make on the laptop get copied over to the mobile devices. Well, one thing you can do to make this even easier is have the iCloud sync turned on on all devices and I'll show you how this works. This is the beauty of it. This is the meat of the, the video. Here it is. On this laptop and these other two devices I have the same music file loaded. It's a song called Africa Beat that I made and you'll notice there are no cue points on these songs at all. With iCloud sync turned on I'm able to add a cue point anywhere in the record or in the file. I hit plus and then momentarily later you will see on the iPad and on the iPhone that cue point showed up without me having to connect a cable or do anything. And this works for other uh, features such as your loops. I'll try it again. I just added another cue point. You see it just popped up. But this also applies to your loops as well. So if you create a loop on the iPad or vice versa, if you create it on the MacBook Pro, it will sync up over iCloud Sync and it does it within less than a second. 
So this is one of the reasons why I still use um, or I'm heavily involved in the Apple e ecosystem because their devices really do work well with each other. I'm not exactly sure if this works the same with say a uh, Windows device that may be signed into an iCloud account because you can put iTunes on a Windows computer and you can be signed into it so I would think that it does work but I just don't have the time to test it out but anyway this is what happens when you use it on your Apple devices and these devices are of varying different ages like this MacBook Pro is a 2013 it's a long overdue for an update but I'm still using it because it works this iPhone is brand new this iPad is probably two years old but um, they all work together and they have different levels of operating systems. Obviously the new iPhone has the latest and greatest uh, OS on it, as does the iPad, but this uh, MacBook Pro is stuck on pre-Catalina um, operating system. But it all works perfectly. So that's what today's video is about. Hopefully you learned something and maybe you can put it to use and you can test it out. Um, it's a great tool to have especially if you're trying to sync up things across multiple devices and you know a lot of people have trouble with that it doesn't work as great i think if you're using external hard drives for your music but it can work it's a little wonky sometimes but test it out let me know if you use it do you like it do you find it beneficial let me know in the comments anyway this is your boy logistical styles with another video and keep on the lookout for more don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.